Welcome to RK Broadcast. I would like to explain you a K-means clustering algorithm with an example in this video. K-means is a simple clustering algorithm. It will be under partition clustering group. Before see the example, let us see the meaning of the clustering. Clustering is the unsupervised learning procedure. Unsupervised learning procedure indicate that we don't know the exactly class labels and we don't know the complete idea about the data. So in this, Cluster means a group of similar objects. Let us see an example. In a class, there are 60 students. The 60 students will be divided into three different groups. In three different groups as for their marks. In the first class group, all the students are there in the first class students. In the second class group, all the second class students. In third class group, all the third class. Indicated that Within the group, all the objects or the students here can call it as an object. All the students are first class only. In the second class group, all the second class. It means within the cluster, all the objects are similar and dissimilar with the other group. This group is only first class. This group is second class. So now, see this example. Let us see the other way with an example. Before start this example, let us k-means algorithm is come under the partition clustering algorithm group. Here we must be specified number of clusters that indicates k. In the k-means algorithm, k indicates the number of clusters that must be specified by the user. How to specify? I will explain you with an example. Each cluster is associated with the centroid. Centroid indicates the mean, mean of the cluster. So each, each cluster is associated with the centroid and each point each data object or each data point is assigned to the cluster with closest centroid the object which is close to the centroid that object will come under that particular cluster so now the basic clustering algorithm we can see so here select k points as the initial centroids i will explain you this entire algorithm with a simple example let us see here there are 10 objects in my data set the 10 objects 20 83 92 16 102 so on there are 10 objects in my data set so so obviously here indicate um, my n value total number of objects 10 so n value 10 as for the algorithm select k points in initial centroids before this how many number of clusters how many number of clusters we are planning to divide from this n number of objects i have n is equals to 10 so now i can specify my k value k indicates the number of clusters let me take my k value is equals to 2 you ask me here how you have chosen k is equals to 2 so here there is a procedure you can choose randomly how many number of clusters you are trying to form. But in this, there are n objects or uh, the total number of objects are 10. You may choose your k value either from 1 to 10. Because initially, you can select k value 1. Indicated all these 10 objects will come under one cluster. Or Sometimes you may select k is equals to 10, independent object will become a one cluster. So between these two or this value in between, you can choose the number of clusters. Example here, I randomly selected in, uh, number of clusters k is equals to 2, is equals to 2. So now what is the next procedure? Once you selected number of clusters, the next procedure, let us look at the algorithm once again. Here select as for this first point, select k points as the initial centroids. My k a value is equals to 2. I have chosen now points for the initial centroids. Now I, how I can select the initial centroids? I can select the initial centroids. So it means what exactly indicated here? I need to be I need to be divided my 10 objects into two clusters as for the k value so now what is the thing is that as for this first point k points 
k points as the initial centroids my k value is equal to 2 now so two points i need to be selected which two points i supposed to be selected as my initial centroids randomly you can select any of the point from this data set in this example i will choose here my data points are 83 is one initial centroid from here another one is i would like to select 112 is my initial centroid from this it means any randomly you can select any initial centroids as for this as for this algorithm select select k points as the initial centroids how many points k is equal to so two points i can select for these two clusters as my initial centroids so now the story will be look at algorithm again from each a clusters by assigning all points to the closest centroid k clusters from k form k clusters by assigning all points to the closest centroid so now here each point is assigned to which closest center now let us see take first 20 20 will come under this group or this group this is 20 is nearer to 83 or 112 let us see for example here 83 minus 20 is equals to 63 and for example here 63 is a closeness here 8 here 112 minus 20 is equals to 92 so obviously 63 is lesser than 92 compared to here so this 20 will become this group because there is similarity there is nearness between 20 to 83 and 20 to 112 obviously 20 is nearer to this group 83 because this initial center of 83 similarly 83 obviously 83 also will become this cluster because 83 minus 83 is equals 0 83 minus 112 have some value so obviously it is nearer similarly 92 so according to this 92 is nearer to 83 and 16 nearer to 83 102 next object is 102 102 is nearer to 112 or 83 obviously it is 112 is nearer to 103 so 10 sorry 102 will become under this group next what is the object 9 that 9 is close to 83 this group and 43 is nearer to this group so 43 and 89 is obviously nearer to this one 89 and 34 34 is close to 83 this group and 112 the last object 112 obviously this is come under this group so then what to do the next so now assign these values into initially two groups so now you need to calculate the mean so as for this as for this algorithm compute the centroid of each cluster this fourth one compute the centroid of each cluster so now how to compute the centroid the centroid computing is all the objects average 20 plus 83 plus 92 plus 16 plus 9 plus 43 plus 89 plus 34 divided by total number of objects in this group 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so 8 so what is the simplified value here is approximately it is 48 so similarly this cluster in this cluster what are the values now need to compute recompute the centroid so in the recompute the centroid 102 plus 112 divided by 2 is equals to 214 divided by 2 is equals to 107 so now we recomputed the centroids of these two cluster now this can be formed another 
this can be formed now recomputed the centroid earlier 83 now after re recomputing now centroid is 48 and this centroid is 107 as for this so now again we need to use the same objects as compute the initial centroids so now the recomputed recent mean value is this one so now we can do the same process what is the distance between the recent centroid 48 and 20 which obviously it is nearer to this 83 and 108 the distance between this and this 83 very nearer to this one so obviously 83 and 92 will become here observe here the 92 sorry the 92 will become here observe earlier earlier the 92 and 83 in in this group now it moved to this group so 93 92 and uh, what about the next object next object is 16 16 16 obviously nearer to 48 so 16 and 102 because 107 is very nearer to 102 102 and 9 obviously come to this because 48 is nearer to 9 than 107 and 43 also will become under this group and 89 again will come here and 34 34 very nearer to this one to 48 so 34 so one last object is 112 112 is nearer to 107 so now recently formed clusters are this one so now as for the as for the algorithm again you need to see again this steps this step and this step recompute again click k clusters by assigning all points to the second iteration and again what to do recompute the centroid of each cluster now you need you need to recompute recompute the centroid what how to find out the centroid of the, again this newly formed cluster here we can do 20 plus 16 plus 9 plus 43 plus 34 divided by 1 2 3 4 5 objects are there divided by 5 is equals to this is equals to 24 and come to here again same recomputing 83 plus 92 plus 102 plus 89 plus 112 divided by again 5 because there are 5 objects so this is approximately 96 so earlier computed mean value is 48 but now recent mean value is 24 earlier mean value for this cluster is 107 but now recent mean value is 96 so now you need to do the same process same process for newly formed centroids so now the two different clusters newly formed centroid is 24 now newly computed centroid for this cluster is 96 with using these two recent centroids again reassign as for the algorithm again now 20 very nearer to 24 83 nearer to this one obviously and 92 92 will become here 16 nearer to this and 102 102 will be here again 9 is here 43 will be nearer to this centroid rather than this one and 89 89 is assigned in this because it's nearer to 96 and now oh, another object 34 now 34 is obviously nearer to this group this centroid and 112 112 nearer to 96 so 112 so now after making the new centroid again reassigned the values when well, now we will be continue the same process like here compute the new centroid 20 plus 16 plus 9 plus 43 plus 24 divided by 1 2 3 4 5 
So this is same as earlier like it also come under 24. Similarly, this will be also calculated or compute the new centroid 83, 92, 102 plus 89 plus 112 divided by again 5. Again this equals to 96. So now new centroids are formed. Now the new centroids are formed 24 and 96. So earlier centroids also 96 and 24. So what algorithm is saying these two steps assigning the points and calculate the recomputing the centroid for each cluster. Repeat these two steps until the centroid does not change. Observe very clearly here. The termination point of this algorithm is the centroids does not change or do not change. So here uh, look at the centroids earlier 24 for this cluster and after this also again 24 and earlier it is 96. Now it is again 96. So that it means that the, we reached the termination point earlier centroid and this centroid. Centroids are same with early previous step and this step. So now this algorithm is terminated and this is the final result of this clustering when we have provided the k value is 2. So the k-means algorithm is very simple to understand and there is a uh, there is uh, a computing co computing uh, facility like com time complexity here is Normally, order of n into k into i into d. It indicates the n number of points, k number of clusters, i number of iterations. Earlier example, we have seen how many number of iterations and d number of attributes. So, number of attributes indicated here like, for example, we can say the attributes are, we have taken example is single attribute. If it has more number of attributes, then it takes more time to execute. So this is very simple algorithm. In the next video, I would like to expand the research ideas about the k-means algorithm in the coming videos. Thank you.